Hi, I wanted to give you a quick tour of my simple website KPI dashboard, which is a Notion template that has an embeddable Google Data Studio report that I created um, so that you can see all your website KPIs right in Notion. So the template has all the setup instructions here. It's uh, very detailed and there's a video instructions. So you can customize the report with your own Google Analytics 4 and Google Search Console data. So those two data sources. And then I also have um, definitions here in case you ever want to look up any definitions of the metrics. And then you can uh, always contact me for help. So I'm going to show you a quick look at the report. So the first page is a Google Search Console dashboard. So you would connect it to your Google Search Console data, which I show you how to do. And then um, it would show you this kind of summary data at the top, um, impressions, URL clicks, and URL click-through rate. And you can um, filter by date. So you can, uh, it's set to 30 days, but you can set it to any date, any period. And you can even, um, and it's comparing to the previous time period by default. So this is what these uh, arrows are reflecting. And it'll show you the top search queries and then impressions, the change, the clicks, site, site click through rate and the average position, which is important. And the top landing pages as well. And then um, your average position site wide, which is cool by itself, but it's really great when you actually um, use one of these uh, controls, the query to filter by query. So let's do emoji kitchen. So you can see this is this is all sample data. So emoji kitchen, you can see um, the two landing pages, the two top landing pages are these two. And on average, our position for this keyword is around 5.53, but recently it actually went up a little bit. So this chart gives us the position for where, we're, how, where, where our site is ranking for that keyword. And then we can um, choose other keywords or set it back to all. There we go. So on page two, I have an acquisition. This is the Google Analytics 4. I have three pages of Google Analytics 4 dashboards. This is the acquisition dashboard. So it has a bunch of controls so that you can filter at the top. And then it also has the date. Again, it uh, it does it automatically does comparisons to the previous time period. So if you do if this is a month, then it'll compare to the previous month. And then it shows new users, sessions, sessions per user, views per session, engagement rate, average engagement time, and session conversion rate. And if you ever need to look up these definitions, they're in the about the report section. So the first one is the top acquisition acquisition channels for, for new users. So this is all, um, this is data, this is Google data. It's, it's not actually like real data from my website, but it's, um, you can see the percentage of different uh, acquisition channels. And then se sessions versus engaged sessions, the difference between sessions and engaged sessions and top countries and top regions. So you can see where people, how people are getting to your website. Where are they coming from? The third tab is more about engagement. So we're looking at average engagement time versus page views per session. So this page, uh, this website gets on average three pages, three page views per section, which is pretty good. And an average engagement time of almost a minute. So this way you can look for any trends and if things are trending up or down and just keep an eye on that. And then the engagement rate, you can look at that over time. And this shows you the top user events. These are all the events that you're tracking. And if you have custom events, they'll show up here. So you can see that page view is the top event. And then top pages by views. So this is cool. You can see that the home page is the page with the most views. And then top landing pages by sessions and session conversion rate. So uh, the home page again is shown. Not set means that. Um, we don't have that. Google doesn't doesn't have that information, so that's quite a lot of pages, interestingly. And then you can see all the other pages. Then on page four, we have um, conversions. So here we have conversions over time. So you can see how your conversions are tracking over time, and your session conversion rate over time also and then a list of the top conversions. 
I think that's it. Yes. So it's organized into acquisition, behavior, and conversions. So those, those three kind of phases, right? And so that you can look at each one and see if there are any issues or any areas for improvement. And then uh, the Google Search Console data would also be part of acquisition. And that's at the very beginning. So if you have any questions or if you would like to know how to customize this, maybe um, you want more e-commerce specific metrics, um, let me know and I can create a video on that. And in the meantime, if you want to check it out, I have it listed for sale um, in, on the link below.